Here she is. We're about to send out a search party for you. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing. I was only joking, love. Don't call me love. <laughs> I think someone needs to take a chill pill. Now get off me! <sighs> I'm sorry. All right. Um, I'll deal with this. You go and enjoy your date with Abby. OK. See you all tomorrow. Is this because you didn't get the manager's job? No. I'm standing up to him. He tried to get Michelle to sleep with him. I'm not sure that's quite what happened. Yeah, it is. Carla told me. Yeah, and I've spoken to Ray, and according to him, it was mutual. Well, of course he's going to say that. I believe him. But it might be different for you. I know that you went through a terrible thing. Oh, no, don't! Make this about me. All I'm saying is that this situation is different and you can't let that cloud your judgment on all men. I'm not. Just ones that think that they can treat women like objects. Listen, I need people who are in the right frame of mind to work and you're clearly not. So just take tonight off and let me know tomorrow if you still want to work here because Ray's not going anywhere. Well, it's just, just one dark. You all right? No, I'm not. What's this rubbish? Since when were the Gazette allowed to print propaganda for sex pests? Oh, Jenny told me about him and Michelle. He's a scumbag. Well, he pulled a fast one with Johnny and Jenny on New Year's Eve. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. I really don't want to work for someone like that. I don't blame you, love. So what, have you quit or...? Not yet. I'm going to. Oh, OK, wait. Before you do something that you might regret, I don't mean you go over the road, have a cup of tea, we'll talk about it. Yeah? There you go. Thank you. Right, come on then. Let's have a look at what you've read. <sighs> Worry number one. Shown her in hospital because she got shot. Yeah, that is quite a bad worry. But nothing you can do. No point worrying about it. Put that one out your head. OK, fine. <clears throat> Worry number two, bad hair. What are you talking about? you got great hair. Oh, I hate my hair. It's all yellow and shiny. What more do you want? You look like a sun goddess. Do you think so? Scratch that one. Worry number three, working for a misogynistic pervert pig. Wow, Pepper took a dark turn somewhere. <laughs> All right, this one you can do something about. If you don't like your job, quit. But why should he win? Why does the scumbag man always win? He's not. You are. You take him back control. And he'll lose a great waitress. Head waitress. Exactly. But how will I survive? I need a job. Well, your family can help. It's like mine did after Sinead. I don't want to just live off my family. Well, now we get to the crux of it. What do you want? In your heart of hearts, what does Bethany Platt want? I don't know. You have anything you want. You've just got to be honest with yourself, make your mind up, and go for it. Maybe you should leave. Are you kicking me out? Me? No, not the flat. Leave Weatherfield. I could just say that she... He's hot. Maria could feel it. Look, flushed cheeks, sweaty, clammy. And I've got a thermometer somewhere. Why don't I have a system? Why is there just so much chaos? Can I help you at all? I don't know. Do you have any expertise in the world of childcare? I should go. Yes. Um, oh. I can finish this off at home on my laptop. Uh, maybe when you're not busy, you could read over it, but there's no rush. Hey, found it. Huh. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, come on, brave little soldier. Thanks for all your help. All right, you hold still. Let's take your temperature. Look the other way. That way. There you go. 